What's up Taurus? This is going to be a love forecast for the second half of May. This is for my Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. Also guys, I do offer personal readings and all the info for that's in the description box of the video. So let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Taurus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love. Second half of May. Any love messages for my Taurus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Second half of May. Okay, Eight of Swords, the Four of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Justice card and the Strength card. Taurus, feeling a little bit trapped. Okay, you're in a situation and you feel a little bit like it can't move forward or you can't move on. Something's got you unsure um, if you can even see the way forward because you've got the blindfold on here with the Eight of Swords. The Four of Cups to me means there's either a situation where someone's not taking your cup or you're not taking theirs, right? There's an opportunity here. It's possible that you're in a situation, Taurus, with someone that wants to give you actually something very solid, but you're not sure you wanna take it. There's something here within this situation that has you feeling um, bound and trapped, okay? Like a lot in the mind, self-imposed imprisonment, a lot of anxiety. Now, it's testing your strength here, Taurus. Um, with the Justice card, it's like, this is calling for you to tap into your truth. Justice is truth, it's decisions, it's also making the right decision, it's, it's fairness, okay? There also could be something to do with balance between you and this person. So finding the right balance, so that could be an issue. Let's get a little bit more on it. Why is Taurus so, um, so trapped here with the Eight of Swords? Okay, the Death card. Something about you just not sure and feeling like you want to end it, Taurus. Six of Cups, something to do with the past. Um, it could be, Taurus, that there's someone that you had an ending with that you haven't been able to move forward from, but you have something else here, but now you're not sure if you want it. Maybe you're waiting around for someone to make some kind of a return, Ten of Pentacles, or you're still healing from something from the past. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles would be, you know, a person that you probably saw your forever with or your long-term vision. Maybe, Taurus, you were married um the justice card is marriage and divorce so you are heading in that direction because ten of pentacles can be family long-term commitments um tell me about this ace of pentacles exactly two of pentacles so taurus it's like you've got maybe an opportunity here but you're a bit back and forth on it or you're weighing up your options um maybe you just don't feel like you have the strength to move forward and move on to something so solid or maybe there's something about this particular person where you're just not sure um or maybe it's because like i said you've been a bit hurt and maybe you're not sure if if you can actually pour into this situation if you want to take this cup seven of pentacles okay so taurus is a person that you have a foundation with maybe you're still sort of waiting to see how things play out um i think this person wants to offer you something quite serious with the ace of pentacles um knight of swords as i said that this is a person that's rushing they want to rush forward with you they want to rush forward off the foundation that you've built um, but the Knight of Swords can also mean that you might be trying to make a decision about it. As I said, Two of Pentacles, weighing up your options. And the Six of Swords here, um, with the Knight of Swords, mean you might be feeling like you want to cut them off and move away and move forward. Okay, you're sort of back and forth. It's like, do I stick with this or do I move forward in a new direction? Um, you could have had a bit of drama with this particular person. So you're feeling like, oh, do I just want to move into karma waters elsewhere? Five of Pentacles, exactly. Now, Taurus, I'm getting, again, that's like either you, I'm getting two stories. It's like either you, you're back and forth with this person and, you know, you want to move away, but you're concerned that you're going to leave this person out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. Um, or, Taurus, you're dealing with a situation where there's something about this person where um, you're back and forth and, and something about it makes you feel disconnected misunderstood left out in the cold okay we have the lovers card and the four of pentacles wow so taurus some of you it's like you're holding on to this can often be choices and decisions the lovers card so it's possible you are still holding on to someone taurus um or someone's still holding on to you as i said i'm almost getting it's like maybe you're back and forth taurus because you know your original plan didn't work out okay and now you have maybe something else but you're just not sure if that's what you really want 
okay um lovers card so gemini energy we've also got capricorn taurus virgo cancer pisces scorpio strong libra with the justice card strong leo um yeah we've got all the signs basically guys okay so what else do we need to know eight of wands and the queen of wands okay taurus so there is a call for you to make some kind of a decision we've got the eight of wands and the queen of wands so this is about you sort of taking back some level of control i would say over what's going to make you happy queen of wands very independent some of you actually might be doing some traveling you know maybe you're taking some time out to consider your options and you're taking some travel you, some of you may be traveling for work queen of wands is an entrepreneur um and eight of wands six of swords tells me that there could be some some travel coming in for you otherwise this is conversation so it could be that you know there's a lead up here to a conversation now about sort of where is a particular situation headed um yeah with with a person the lover's card and a decision needs to be made do i hold on to this situation or do i move away it could also be do i still hold on to what's happened in the past or a past person or do I allow myself to move forward? Queen of Wands is sort of a with or without you energy. Maybe some of you are deciding to disconnect from all options and just move forward independently so that you can move yourself into maybe a direction that's more aligned for you. Um, as I said, that five of swords, nine of, nine of pentacles, two of swords. A lot of you are just feeling very stuck and seven of cups, stuck in confusion. Okay, it could be more than one cup that you're dealing with. Um, and there's, there's stress here, five of swords, okay? Some of you, you are in a situation where you're having conflict with the person and you're just confused now, like, is this the right person for me? And you're feeling very stuck and you wanna take back some level of independence. Some of you, you do wanna sort of just be single and available or work on your money. Um, An ace of swords, guys, sorry, was, was hiding, but this is about truth, honest conversations and breakthroughs. So you're gonna get some kind of clarity coming out of confusion and you may need to make a decision involving a conversation. Now, I'm not telling you guys what to do. If you're dealing with someone and there's a conversation and you wanna move forward and work through the issues, then that's fine. Um, but there's some kind of a breakthrough now and I do feel a lot of you, you are taking back some control and independence and focusing sort of a bit more on you and your goals and your dreams and maybe your work and your, your money. Um, let's look at the situation that you're feeling quite stuck in, okay? Let's see, so a little bit on this situation that Taurus is sort of for a cup, something on offer that you're not sure about. Let's see, what do we need to know about this person? I just saw the Seven of Pentacles. So someone that has felt like, feels like they've sown the foundations with you and they're waiting for um, the return, okay? You're trying to build off that. We've got the Chariot and the Ten of Pentacles, exactly. This person wants to move forward with you and they wanna build a Ten of Pentacles. So they wanna build, you know, the house, the dog, the future. Um, we've got the Tower and the Temperance and the Wheel of Fortune here. So you've kind of shocked and surprised this person, Taurus. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune means this person believes that you are part of their destiny, basically. Let's get one on the Temperance. There's something about timing and patience here. Um, let's get a little bit more on that. Strength card, yeah. Something within this connection tests this person's um, strength and patience, Taurus. I do feel like it's possible that you and this person, you have some conflicts. It could be that there is difficulty in finding a balance between the two of you. Like I said, Taurus, it might also be that you have been a little bit standoffish with this person. Like we've got double strength energy. Strength is, um, you know, in its shadow is sort of ego battles as well. Um, so there's something between the two of you that, you know, this person's hoping they're going to be able to heal with time. Um, you know, maybe it's communication issues, right? Because we did have that sort of five of swords, knight of swords energy. The tower means you could have tower moments with this person. Maybe you've had a tower with this person or you're having a bit of a tower now because you're realizing that you need to make a decision. Like, do I want to move forward with this person and build this ten of pentacles? Or do I want to go my own way? They're hoping with the Wheel of Fortune it's going to turn in their favor. Tell me a bit more about the Tower. Ten of Cups, exactly. So they're worried that their Ten of Cups is crumbling because maybe this person's sensing a little bit that you're just sort of moving forward or moving away from them. They're seeing a family with you, Taurus, okay? That's what they're trying to manifest with the Magician card. Um, either you've had a big blow up with this person or this is kind of imminent, Taurus, with this Tower energy. Um, you know, so let's get a little bit more on the Wheel of Fortune. 
the world. Yeah, this person sees you as their world, Taurus. I don't know. Um, they do want to enter a new cycle with you. They want accomplishment with you and they want to sort of let go of anything um, that's holding the connection back or stalling the connection because you're a hope and a wish for them. King of Swords. Now, this person could be an air sign or have air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a person that I feel, you know, um, in good energy is really communicative. They want to talk. They want to talk about plans. They want to talk about the future. For some of you, this person may be a bit too much in the head and not enough in the heart. And maybe you don't feel that this person is connecting with you in the in the right sort of way, okay? Um, or it's, it's just not speaking your language, okay? Um, and that could be because there's communication issues or maybe there's stuff from the past that's lingering where you have walls up, right? Or this person has walls up, but there's definitely blocks, hanged man, something here is stuck. So I feel like this person also wants to have a conversation with you, like where is this headed? Um, yeah, seven of swords, and there's something between you and this person which, which is causing distrust. Okay, Taurus, maybe because it's a bit back and forth, in and out, I don't know, I don't know what I want. Um, do I want to move forward? Do I not want to move forward? That kind of a vibe. And I'm always getting Taurus, that could be more on your end, because as I said, I feel like you could be, you could have not yet closed something out completely. Um, you know, maybe someone from your past, or you haven't healed something, and so you're just unsure. But by all means, trust your intuition, Taurus, about what's right for you and what feels right. You will have a decision to make and there could be a big conversation. Um, Knight of Cuts, Ace of Wands, because I think this person wants to come in and make an offer to you and they want to reinvigorate passion with you and sort of keep moving forward. Um, yeah, let's get some psychic oracles. So just advice for Taurus now moving forward. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so I think that came out before it didn't I don't know nine of Pentacles so this is you focusing on yourself really um, so even if you you remain in a connection I think you're feeling called to kind of focus on you and focus on maybe you know getting yourself into that good vibration of like independent self-sufficiency um, you know money could be really good for you Taurus now moving into second half of May because material harvest so something's coming to fruition materially some of you that means you are making yourself completely single and available because that's that energy now material and spiritual prosperity came out in the reverse so there's something here where you feel there's something non-reciprocal in this connection now either for some of you this person um because this is like one-sided charity so i hope for most of you that's not the case but for some of you maybe you pour more money into this connection you know and that's why there's a concern for you in moving forward um maybe this person has financial issues um, but otherwise this can be like where it's difficult to get that balance and that reciprocity, you know, between the two of you. Let's see, sacrifice. Yeah, so this is hanged man energy, which came out before. So double hanged man, there's something that's feeling very stuck here, Taurus. Now sacrifice means that maybe some sacrifices need to be made in the connection, or maybe this is about, you know, you need to let go of things that aren't working to make room for something new for yourself. Shadows, the moon and the justice card. Okay, so this is about making the right and the fair decision, but something that is you know, rooted in what you want. The shadow means things are not clear, they're murky. Now we do have a full moon eclipse coming up, Taurus. Um, so it's possible that a lot of things are gonna be coming to light. You'll be having some revelations, ace of swords, so that you can move forward in the best direction for you. Um, okay, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there and I hope that it resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, as I said, and I'll check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.